What happens when one of the most iconic automakers decides to completely shake up the future of sustainable transport? Well, that's exactly what BMW is doing with their brand new plans to launch hydrogen-powered luxury vehicles by 2030. Fewer pollutants, less noise, dynamic driving, and electrically powered vehicles have many advantages to offer customers and the environment. When talking about electromobility, most people automatically think of vehicles with a large battery charged by electricity from a wall outlet. Yet transportation experts like BMW have high hopes for another exciting drive technology, an emission-free alternative without long charging times. Specifically, this refers to the hydrogen electric drive, also called fuel cell drive. This shows that the auto industry thinks hydrogen has come a long way from when it was always seen as some far-fetched sci-fi dream. New technology has made fuel cell systems cheaper and hydrogen fuel infrastructure is starting to grow globally. Let's dive deep on this BMW's hydrogen-centered strategy that literally no one saw coming. What unique perks will these vehicles offer over electric and gas cars? How will this unique development work? Will shoppers even be ready for hydrogen vehicles in six years time? And does hydrogen finally have its breakout moment to compete with batteries for the future of sustainable transportation? Let's find out. How does hydrogen cars work? Hydrogen cars are powered by an electric motor and are therefore classified as e-cars. The common abbreviation is FCEV, short for fuel cell electric vehicle. In contrast to battery powered electric cars, or battery electric vehicles, BEV for short. There is one crucial difference to other electric vehicles. Hydrogen vehicles produce the electricity themselves. This means that their power does not come from a built-in battery, as is the case with purely electric vehicles or plug-in hybrid vehicles, which can be charged from an external power source. Instead, hydrogen cars effectively have their own efficient power plant on board, which converts the hydrogen in the fuel tank into electricity and this power plant is the fuel cell. A process known as reverse electrolysis takes place in a fuel cell. Hydrogen reacts with oxygen in the process. The hydrogen comes from one or more tanks in the car while the oxygen comes from the ambient air. The only things this reaction produces are electrical energy, heat, and water, which exits through the exhaust as water vapor with no emissions at all. The electricity generated in the fuel cell takes two routes depending on what the specific driving situation demands. It flows to the electric motor and directly drives the vehicle, and or it charges a battery that acts as a temporary storage until the energy is needed for the drive. This buffer battery is significantly smaller than the battery of an all-electric car, meaning it's also lighter. It's also being constantly recharged by the fuel cell. Like other e-cars, hydrogen vehicles can also recover or recuperate braking energy. In this process, the electric motor converts the car's kinetic energy back into electrical energy and feeds it into the buffer battery. Forget everything you know about electric cars. Hydrogen power cars are unique. BMW's new hydrogen-powered iX5 is set to completely change what we consider an electric driving experience. See, unlike battery-powered EVs that require hours of charging, the iX5 fills up with hydrogen in three to four minutes, as fast as gas. This means no more range anxiety or planning your road trip around charger locations. Just full tanks and freedom to drive over 500 kilometers before you'll need to stop. Oh, and refueling in freezing Canadian winter? No problem. The iX5's range stays the same year round. Plus, with instant torque from the electric motor, you get that fun jolt of acceleration BMWs are used to. We're talking a silent thrill ride. BMW even sees this clean hydrogen tech helping drive the transition to renewable energy. As more wind and solar comes online, hydrogen storage makes it easy to transport green power from source to pumps. The clean driving dream. How close are hydrogen cars? When it comes to eco-friendly rides, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles come pretty dang close to the green car utopia we've been dreaming of. I'm talking smooth, silent operation like a classic EV but with none of the emissions. See, the only thing emitted from the tailpipe of BMW's new hydrogen cars is simple water vapor. No CO2, no pollutants, nothing toxic whatsoever. The cars themselves run emission-free, which will help provide cleaner air in urban centers. But what about CO2 emitted when producing the hydrogen itself? Well, that depends on where the hydrogen comes from. Best case scenario, 
It's made using renewable energy sources like solar and wind power. This results in an overall carbon footprint of virtually zero for a hydrogen car over its full lifetime. Worst case, hydrogen production relies on fossil fuel energy, which leaves a heavier carbon footprint. But even then, new tech like carbon capture can offset those emissions. Plus, as more renewables come online, hydrogen production is getting cleaner. There's also questions around efficiency, storage and transport compared to electric battery power. But hydrogen fuel can be made on site at fueling stations themselves, cutting transportation emissions even further in the future. So while a few challenges remain, hydrogen vehicles are making that futuristic vision of truly clean driving a reality. BMW clearly believes they've cracked the code to make this tech mainstream. Sure, electric vehicle producers might be hating from this all electric corner, but BMW hydrogen is coming to dominate. Are there risks associated with hydrogen drives? Now I know what some of you are thinking. Isn't hydrogen gas explosive? Just gonna strap those bombs to my car, huh? Well, I've got some good news for you worry warts out there. Turns out, storing hydrogen fuel safely is some pretty elementary chemistry. BMW uses thick wall tanks engineered to withstand insane pressure. They pass crash tests with flying colors. No leaks, no booms, no problems. And it's not like hydrogen tech was just whipped up last week either. Refineries and pipelines have handled insane amounts of hydrogen for years. The infrastructure and knowledge already exist to store, transport, and use it securely. At the end of the day, BMW would never compromise your safety to push new technology. That's always been their top priority with vehicles. So you can rest assured their hydrogen powered cars will be held to the same uncompromising standards as their legendary gas engines and electric vehicles when it comes to safety. While skeptics will always exist, the proven track record of hydrogen should help extinguish most of those flamey concerns people have over using it to fuel vehicles. It's already powered shuttles to space without issues. So your commute to work should be just fine in one of BMW's new fuel cell cars. BMW strongly believes hydrogen is ready for its moment in the sustainable transportation spotlight. As long as the infrastructures and economies of scale are there, fuel cell EVs can be the flexible, zero emission option drivers have been waiting for. They see hydrogen complementing batteries, not competing. Each technology serving different needs. Hydrogen for long hauls and frequent refueling. Batteries for shorter urban commutes. The Hydrogen Council, a global coalition of industrial leaders, also see strong potential beyond just vehicles. They believe hydrogen can transform production, heating, electricity, powering the global clean energy transition. Even the International Energy Agency sings hydrogen praises in their reports. They say its unique storage capability makes it the missing puzzle piece for renewable energy. The final element needed to ditch fossil fuels for good. So between the support from industry giants and global energy experts, there are clear tailwinds for hydrogen's future. BMW's new deal to develop electrolysis tech with Toyota also shows major automakers plan to push hydrogen forward together envisioning the future of sustainable driving. When BMW CEO Oliver Zipsy pictures the future of transportation, he poses an important question. What drives and technologies will our customers want? It's not about pushing an agenda or trendy buzzwords. For BMW, it's about giving drivers the power to choose solutions that best enable their needs. And reflecting on the mobility landscape, one technology stands out to Zipsy as an essential element, hydrogen. He sees hydrogen as the missing piece of the carbon neutral puzzle, a versatile emission-free energy source with massive potential across sectors like transportation, a key that unlocks options for drivers who need more range and flexibility than current battery electric vehicles can provide. Zipsy's vision is a future where technology enables freedom, not restrictions, where no single solution dominates because no single solution fits all and where innovations like hydrogen fuel cells can merge into the mainstream when they provide a better experience for users, BMW is taking a bold claim in hydrogen, not for publicity or buzz, but because they earnestly believe now is the time for it to benefit drivers and the planet. They know that to truly lead in sustainable mobility, you have to keep evolving the possibilities. Pioneers, not followers. And with the might of German engineering behind it, Hydrogen indeed looks primed to transform from promise to widespread reality. The puzzle piece clicks.
the future accelerates. So while the iX5 chassis feel familiar, it represents a whole new era of sustainable driving. One where you don't have to choose between saving the planet and the freedom of the open road. And one where hydrogen finally gets welcomed to the e-mobility family. For me, this development is massive and welcoming. Sustainability is meeting the needs of now and not jeopardizing the use of tomorrow. This will help build a sustainable future for generations to come. What do you think?